All right, when we last left, I, I don't know if you remember, but we had, um, well, sort of a, a, a really interesting, uh, almost a complete implementation of the ladders, and they're great, but there are a few things that are issues. One is um, we're having trouble when we get to the top, and then when we, we want to be able to walk across the top without uh, falling through. So we're going to try to fix some of that today. And what I'm going to do is, what, I, well, what I'm going to use is a one-way platform for the top of the ladder. So I want to go into the, the dungeon tile set here. And if you notice, I've added a, another block right here. So I'm going to create a new single tile just so that we'll have a different ID so we can replace it like we need to. There we go. Now, I'm going to say that this is ladder top. Um, because that's what it is. So we're going to use this, and if you notice, we'll go back to dungeon, and this should be, I think, um, number, we've got to figure out which tile number this is, and it, I believe it's 15 here, I think that's the one we just did. Ladder top, so it's 15. So what we're going to want to do then, is we're going to want to go into our, uh, our level, our level uh, script here, and we're gonna we're gonna want to say ladder top is 15, <clears throat> and then we can come down here and kind of do the similar thing right here for what we've done with all the other guys. So we'll say ladder top, and we'll do uh, what we can actually do is. Um, since it's an interactable, we'll just grab the ladder here. And then instead of that, we're going to have to create uh, a ladder top here. And then we'll just pop that in right here. I believe that should be good enough for actually getting that, that in. We'll have, to, we'll have to change the levels such that the top then it, uh, it includes that as well. So let's let's hop on over to the levels and check out the tiles and we should have a ladder top right here so we'll replace the tops of the ladders for the two levels that we have with this ladder top tile ladder top no ladder top and ladder top so i'll save that so that's part of our job done and then the other thing that we're going to need to do is the base level all yes here it is which has all of our stuff here we, we notice that the ladder top is empty so we need to create another one of those we need, we need to make an interactable for the ladder top i'm going to duplicate the ladder i'm going to call it ladder top because that's what we're going to use for our ladder i'm going to go ahead and drag that in to this piece that i tap we'll open it up and of course this is going to be somewhat different than our original ladder because of the items we're going to put on it. For one thing, uh, instead of an area 2D, what we want is we're going to change the type to a static body 2D. <clears throat> and then I want to add an additional child node. And that I want to add a, um, it's just a plain old collision shape 2D. Yes, that's what I want. So I'll put this here like that. Once we have this collision shape 2D, notice that we have one-way collisions here. So what we'll do is we'll turn that on. And in addition, we will come up to the ladder and we will tell it that we wish our collision layer to be a new collision layer. And we'll lose layer 7 for now. We'll change the layer 7 down here in physics to one way because that's the way we work we work one way and one way alone <laughs> sorry anyway so we'll add a child node and we'll add uh, actually I'm sorry we'll add a shape here rectangular shape and that's way too huge so we're gonna make it I will probably make it something like that and simply like that basically we just whoops we just really just need enough for the little fella to step on. That's what we need. I'm going to go into the transform and make sure Z is zero. That's good. 
Okay, I think that's pretty good. We still need the area 2D, which is this fellow, but we need, basically this is no longer in our area 2D, but we need one, so we're just gonna add one as a child here, so that basically we are creating a, uh, this will be our one-way collision shape, and then this will be our regular area 2D, just like the regular, just like the regular um, ladders that we've seen before. I think we'll just leave, yeah, we'll leave it like this. I believe this should, let's see what we get with this. Now we should, uh, okay, area 2D can't be instance. Oh yes, that's right, that's right. We have to, uh, we have to, we have to move this script. So we have this script on here because it was a interaction type and this extends area 2D, but this main piece is no longer in area 2D. So what we want to do is we want to get rid of the scripts right here. And then we want to really put the script here and we want to put the base interactable here on this on our area 2d so basically it looks the same as it used to and then we'll set the type to ladder so we're kind of putting the the base ladder component under this uh, platform a one-way platform deal so let's check and see if we can walk across these fellas and we can can uh, can i jump yes i can jump that's a lovely thing and then okay and that's all right uh, we're gonna have to make sure let me yeah, like that let's make sure that our collision is all okay yeah we've got to reset all that that's our interactable and our mask is we're looking for the player but that probably isn't hugely important at this point let's check it just to make sure we can't go down yet but we should be able to go all the way up it and we can and that's another thing we want to change but I think what we'll do now first is let's see if we can't get let's see if we can't get the player uh, the player script uh, uh, working like we want it to. In other words, when the player is on top of the ladder, we need to let him go through it if he pushes down. So what we want to do is we'll need to add to our player if I can find our player. Where is he? There he is. We want to add uh, an additional piece to him, and that will be a raycast 2D. There we are. And uh, that's fine. And uh, let's say I think we can, one of the things we'll want to do is we'll say, this uh, collides with bodies, but not areas. That's fine. The collision mask will only be one-way platforms. And uh, I think, I think a one here is plenty, so we'll give that a go. Uh, and then let's head on over to, whoops, I moved it, didn't I? Bad me, bad me. Head on over here, and I believe during the normal state is when we want to allow him to do his deal. Let's come down here and add another else if here. I'm gonna say, if raycast 2D, that, put that uh, component we just added uh, is colliding, and and we're kind of we're kind of making it a little bit messy here, but it is what it is. You know, we're trying to make a game. We're not we're not trying to be um, um, you know amazing or something. Um, but we just you know it just happens to work that way, right? It's amazing when the game works. Okay, so we're looking to check and see if if you're colliding with the raycast, and you've just pressed the down button. Then what we want to do is, if you notice, uh, where uh, I have to go back to the ladder down time. The ladder, not the ladder, sorry, the top of the ladder. Let me close some of these others. The top of the ladder is this collision shape here. It's one way. And you see the one way collision margin is one. Okay, that's, a, that's good. I think that's what we want. And in, and in, that, in such a case, if we're on one and he presses down, there's a few things that we have to do. One of the things is we're going to directly uh, uh, change our position. So position equals vector two, um, position dot x, and then position dot y. And we're going to add one to the y. So we're going to just basically set him down further in, basically into past the one-way collision is kind of what we're trying to trying to go here and then additionally if i can spell correct 
Additionally, what we want to do is we want to get the actual collider. So in order to do that, the Raycast 2D has a, a cool, a cool little fellow that says you can get get the collider that's colliding. And okay, so here you go. Check this out, and then let's do just a get node call. So when we do that, what we want to do, and yeah, I think that is correct. What we want to do is basically, I'll show you what we want to do. We want to disable. Uh, we want to we want to disable the one way, right? That's actually the collider. I'm sorry, it's a one way collider though. So okay. so all we do is we say disabled equals true, like that, and let's see what happens. So if I put come over here and push down, it doesn't work. But it's probably not working because let's let's check here. What we should do is we should do a little bit of debugging. We want our Raycast 2D to be. Oh, we are. That's not enabled. My fault. There. Let's give it a try again. So we should now go through the ladder. Okay. Set index disabled. Did I name the ladder top the correct? That's ladder top. I'm going to rename this ladder top. Um, I didn't. This I want to call. No wonder it's not working. Now, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah. See, now, now we've got what we want. So if I turn this off, like that. If I don't disable it, in other words, and I come over here and I push down, mm, it still works. I tell you what. One thing that we will have to do is take a check at the player and notice that before I had my what is it? There's this collision shape. There's his area 2D right here. That's the one. The, the climber. I want to make this a little larger. And I want to put it closer to his feet, I believe. So something like something like that. I'm gonna run it again. And I'm gonna check and see how he works out with that. I just want to see if he'll pop. Okay, that I like. Even though we have a, a speck of dust right there, we can probably fix that. Uh, there's some other code that we can utilize to fix that. But now what we want to do is we want to... So we won't worry about the disable at this point. I don't think we'll need to do that since we're just basically setting him uh, with this, adding this one, we're setting him on the other side of it. Okay, so what we'll need to do is let's... Um, what we want is we want to get at this area 2D right here because we want its X position. And we could just get the X position of the ladder itself. But if we ever move this around, I don't know, there may be a reason why we might just want to get that instead. So we're going to... We're going to grab that area 2D. So all we have to do is just area 2D, just like that. So this is an area. So we grab the collider. We get, so that should be the whole thing. And then we get the node, area 2D node right there. So that's what we want. And then what we want to do is we want to set the global position to, um, and we probably, honestly, we probably want to do global position right here as well, just in case. So global position, we want to set that equal to the area global position. Because remember, he, they, we want our character to stick to the ladder. Let's see what happens. We're setting our state to, to, uh, to climb. Yeah, see, it's setting, it's setting to the correct. Hey, I wonder. Instead of doing what we were doing before, perhaps when we do this, why don't we do why don't we do this instead? We'll set we'll set to the area's global position. And then maybe we can just set like like this. Oops, I pushed the wrong button. Wrong button, F5, F5 instead. Let's try that. Oh, that works. I love it. So basically, we are bypassing the first two pixels. We don't have to enable or disable this. We can do this. 
We can jump and we can, let's see, let's make sure we can jump on. And I can climb ladder this way. Come out. Yeah, we can jump right on it. Let's, uh, let's go ahead, since we have a little bit of time, let's address that dust right there that's coming off whenever he just, um, whenever he just hits the ladder. He shouldn't, I shouldn't see any dust there, I don't think. Um, so let, let's remember how we were doing that, where that dust is happening. Is this, is it right here? Yeah. So what we probably want to do is say, we want to put a velocity uh, requirement on this. Let's say it's like greater than two. So that way we won't, we shouldn't see this dust. Yeah. So that feels better. That, that, that feels way good. That feels way good. Yeah. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's, uh, let's head on to the next level. Walk. See? Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. That works very nicely. And uh, with that, I will see you next time for the next installment. Thank you so much for watching.